consider language to be something unique to humans. However, really, language can come in different forms. And today, I want to tell you about a language that is not based on letters or words, but a language that is based on atoms and molecules. The language that I'm speaking here of is called quorum sensing, and it is used by different bacteria to communicate with each other, or more specifically, to count their friends. The way it works is very simple. A single bacterium releases a molecule into its surrounding. The molecule is called an autoinducer, but what it really is, is just a message that is saying, hello, I'm here. If there are no other bacteria around, nothing happens. The message just gets lost in translation. But if there is another bacterium, it will take in that molecule and release an identical one back, saying, hello, I'm here. Now imagine that there are thousands of these bacteria around and all of them are sending this message. Hello, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. The moment that there are enough of these messages around, all of the bacteria will turn on genes that lead to identical behavior. For example, all of the bacteria will start to swim or all of the bacteria will start to glow, a phenomenon known as bioluminescence. Now, you might think, why should we care about bacteria talking I mean, they don't talk too loudly to disturb us, do they? Aha, uh -huh. they might do just that. You see, many of the genes that are controlled by the quorum sensing systems encode proteins that ultimately make us sick. Genes encoding various toxins or genes encoding factors that clump bacteria together and make them resistant to antibiotics. So now we know that bacteria can talk and we also know that sometimes their messages encode evil plants. So what should and could we do about it? Well, imagine that we could learn bacterial language. Then maybe we could intercept or even block their messages. In the era of increasing antibiotic resistance, we urgently need ways of fighting the bad bugs. And maybe quorum sensing is one of them. So I say, let's learn to hear and listen what bacteria are talking. Because if we do, we might just be able to change their ways. Thank you.